as we are fast approaching fall in Minnesota, and this is what we do. Well, welcome to JW Solar USA Command Center in Minnesota. Since I've built this Vivo or Vevo uh, solar system, I've been having some questions. I've been receiving a lot of questions from viewers and comments uh, about this one old system and related to how I wired this system and um, what I'm going to do with this system. If you go back and check on all the videos, and you will see what we're doing right now. And this system is just sitting here. But once in a while, I'll just uh, link uh, solar panels into this system so that we can able to charge these batteries, bringing them up. Because I understand the uh, chemistry of these batteries here tend to, um, the voltage tend to um, reduce or fall after a while been sitting down doing nothing the reason why we haven't used this system is because this is a 230 volt inverter international so built with this mppt charge controller and inverter charger so if you look at here this is what we're doing right now we're charging the batteries from the sun it's not a sun it's a lot of clouds i'll show you outside and this is what is coming in from the solar and let me show you that's the volt right now and this one is reading here from the main battery monitor is 26.7 26.9 it was like 27 at first when i think the sun was pushing some power so this is the watt input voltage and let's see backwards three amps coming in from the panels so I've done some upgrades on the system which I prepare prepare the system for the international transition trying to make everything nice and easy I don't know. I might probably change the batteries I'm using here. There goes the sun again. There's clouds earlier. Let's go back and check the amps. Hold on to that thought. Six amps coming in. And so I just want the system to be plug and play. I might probably able to decide to take this inverter off from these batteries using these batteries only for dc to dc charging like cell phones tablets and all the good stuff but i decided to incorporate this guy right here if you can see this is the international um power outlet so it has um, a breaker right here so it has a designated uh on and off switch so the loads that you don't want to you can able to isolate them and probably someone would say it's not that adequate or something maybe but it has a rating i can see that was well, somewhere no oh, there you go so the max is 3200 3250 so these outlets can able to handle and remember this is a 3 kva inverter which is um around uh, 2500 something like that so if this thing can handle the max of two three thousand five hundred is very very adequate for it 13 amps 250 volts 50 60 hertz so i don't know if you ever seen this elexon e-l-e-x-o-n so this is the first time i've used it i found this one <clears throat> at a place i wasn't expecting 
um, someone had a brand new, I put it in a garage sale, I bought it. Just for the sake of these points right here. Okay. This plugs plugins. So, and the good thing I can able to isolate different kind of loads. If I don't want the freezer, turn it off. The fan. Or the refrigerator. Or whatever, TV. So, it shows back here, like, <clears throat> we already got 100%. And these batteries are in here, they are not um, uh, under the amps at all. So if we can push this, so that's our 96 amp battery bank. <clears throat> because of this, that's why I just want to leave this system the way it is. No, sorry. Change the system the way it is to um, a bigger battery bank. Because I set up this system here for just charging, like cell phones and all other electronic devices, smaller devices. So we still bring in a 250 amps back to the batteries. And we are pushing out 230, 228 volts DC, AC, sorry. And you can see the amps that is coming into the batteries. Now about 7.4, 200 watts, and we're pushing 236 in the inverter here because the inverter charger. So I just want to give you an update and how everything is going. This is just a short video, and it's not a long video. I still have the connectors here. You can see code is for 1 kva to 5 kva it can still work or whatever but everything seems to work so we just easy setup make it easier and i haven't connected this fan at all because i was going to do like an extraction taking the hot air out air out from the system from the batteries to cool the batteries well it can able to be an input here on this knockouts here bringing the air inside with this with the help of this other vent that were already here so the air can able this one pulls the air this one sucks the air in from these other angles and if you haven't seen this install i'll encourage you to go back to my playlist and look at the vevo v-e-v-o-r and there you go that's a main disconnect so i'm thinking about taking this inverter out from this mounting box and i can able to um put uh maybe another charge controller here a charge controller here and to just charge these batteries and i'm gonna use this one for bigger project so and um, because these batteries, I don't want to take them from this box anymore. But I just want to keep it the way it is in this enclosure. Maybe I'll see if I can open this back up so you guys can see for just the sake of it. For most of you who haven't seen this, is your first time stumbling into this one old uh, system I built. And you guys can see. Take, Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Now we're going to go and... Open up this guy with a flat and lift this guy up. This is the system. These are the batteries. These are this one came from a medical cart, and this is the uh, shunt for the uh, energy. Fifty millivolts, five hundred amps, and these are. Uh, this is the boss bar. If you haven't seen this setup, I'll encourage you to go back and look at it. Watch the videos. I made a lot of um, series videos. See, clean setup. Here is the uh, power to the shunt. 
Me and I get a bus bar thing here. These batteries are all wired in parallel. If you can take a look here, <clears throat> this entire stack is a 12 volt. It's a 12 volt. Each module is a 12 volt. Okay, so I just did all parallel. So I think it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 of them in parallel. 12 in parallel. 12 and 12. So here is a 24. 48 modules in here. So I can able to change this to um, um, a 48 volt if I want to. <clears throat> like 12. 12, 24, 36, 48. I can do that. So I already connected these batteries. 12 volts here, 12 volts here, and series them. You can see the blacks come in contact with the reds, and blacks in contact with the reds, and parallel all the way here. Go to the disconnect and come all the way here. This is the fan right here I use for the extractor, and uh, use a threaded rod to mount these guys. And uh, that's how we decided to go with this system because I found this battery is a battery hookup. Then I can put that um, um, link on the description below if you want to get uh, batteries cheaper and you can get uh, a percentage, 5% uh, plus another extra you can get. Then you can go ahead and do this if you want to help the system. So that we can able to get things done here by buying new equipment and all the stuff. That helps. And please don't forget to give a like with a thumbs up to the channel. And make this video go out there for other people who like to build systems like this. The portable ones. So you don't have to have a big system to be in the off-grid solar you need something that is uh, sustaining you in a case of emergency, in a crisis, like what is going on right now in Florida with us, the Hurricane Irene. I think that is called Iran, I, I, Ivan, something, whatever it is. But I feel sorry for them guys. I know it's going to be difficult with all the flooding. And the other thing you can't able to save a system like this um, in a time of crisis because your mind is all all kind of mixed up and you're already perplexed and you don't even know what to do disoriented but if you have this on a higher ground or maybe somewhere and um, <clears throat> you get your mind first on this maybe covered with a plastic bag or something you bagged it or you put this in a plastic container for like a command center like people can come and charge the battery so they're trying to reach their loved ones or whatever it is so some people are well prepared or maybe a truck or whatever you can able to utilize this thing can help a lot of people because everybody's out <clears throat> the range to reach their loved ones and people that you care about so this can make a whole different in a situation where everything is already probably quiet and you can go about do whatever you want to do i just want to give you updates again what we're doing so we're pushing some power here while we're getting those batteries topped up like and subscribe jw solar usa in minnesota this is the vevo system here and i had a contact i think i don't know if it's the company at one point um asking me to do something but i haven't heard back because i asked them to send me uh the product um they want me to promote something another company uh just like the vevo yeah i think they using almost uh, similar uh technology and um i'll bring in seven amps and uh I don't know if they were wanted me to buy the products and and do a review 
which I refuse not to. If they want to um, advertise in something, they want me to do a review on all that stuff, I ask them to send me whatever they have, what is newer, that my viewers haven't seen, then that will be a good thing for the channel. Yeah, we have to do some good stuff so that um, I will get my viewers able to get their hands into or recommend that. So now it's saying a zero, zero uh, minute. <clears throat> so now he's just topping off the batteries really good with the Renergy battery monitor. And um, I think the MPPT is working great on this system. And um, it's a very nice system, to be honest with you. And uh, with you guys' help watching the videos, it makes these projects very interesting for others who are in this situation. Well, stay tuned. And like this video and share it, please. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now. JW Solo USA in Minnesota. Stay tuned for more to come. Stay tuned because the more Victron stuff coming out, coming in, and we're gonna do a lot of videos, a full install on Victron Energy product. Trust me, it's on the way. I will do that. Our transition to Victron advantage and disadvantage, our disappointment and um, uplifting. And you can see that all on the videos to come. Thank you. I have a good one. Stay tuned so that I can see all my experience with Victron from others.